Hi guys, Commander Shiba here. Welcome to the return of the F1 2013 career mode, and we are here for the fourth round of the season in the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we are back in the Ferrari on F1 2013. The, me the memories um, of this game now. Uh, it's been a very long time, and I decided to bring back this career mode. So here we are for the Bahrain Grand Prix, the qualifying session here in Sakia. Um, let's hope this can go well, because... Uh, <coughs> The, the qualifying sessions so far in this 2013 career, if you remember, they haven't been as great. I think I qualified 4th in Australia, 5th in Malaysia, and then 11th in China, so it hasn't been ideal so far. So here we go out on track for our first run in this Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying. Um, let's hope we can beat Fernando Alonso in this session, because Fernando Alonso, of course, is our teammate in this season. And here we go out on track out of the pit lane. We are behind a Red Bull um, of S Mark Webber. I was about to say Sebastian Vettel, but it was Mark Webber. Um, so here we are. Onto the straight now. I'm not. It's not the whole qualifying, of course. It's just like, I think my best laps, and then like all my laps, and then the fastest lap is the whole lap. So yeah. Here we go, starting our first lap in this Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying. Coming down onto the straight with DRS open, coming down towards turn one. Breaking down into first gear. Missing the apex only slightly there, but some um, uh, down to turn two, corner cutting the corner just a little bit there. I'm not really used to Bahrain in the day because uh, of 2013, 2016 career, I should say. And we got very close to Esteban Gutierrez there in the Sauber, um, which is um, I don't know why I got that close, but I did. So here we go, coming into turn 12 now, the second sector, and we are now seven tenths down. So. We still don't have great pace in uh, F1 2013 crew mode at the moment. Um, so going up to Rich Mix onto the straight and for some reason down to rear brake balance. But now into the final corner, breaking down to first gear. <coughs> that was a very terrible one. And now onto the final straight. We're going to cross the line with DRS open with a 134.0 to go fourth fastest, eight tenths slower than Nico Rosberg on provisional pole at the moment. So, um, we are fourth place at the moment, nowhere near pole position, but let's hope we can improve on our next few laps here. Changing to a new set of tyres in the garage. Me and Fernando Alonso are in fact two tenths apart um, in this session, which is cool. Um, so that proves that we're equal teammates, even though I won the championship quite easily in Season 2. Um, so Sebastian Vettel now on provisional pole with a 132 Point two, that is 1.8 seconds faster than me. Now here we are at the end of our second lap here. This is our second run. This is the end of our second lap in this Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying coming to the final corner once again. Missing the apex again. But it's uh, overall improvement so far in this final, in this second lap. It's a 133.2, eight tenths faster than our personal best. We still go fourth fastest though, and we're still one second slower than Sebastian Vettel. So it's not really ideal in this session at the moment, here in Bahrain. We have the pace in Bahrain, uh, usually, but uh, not in this qualifying. It's just interesting. It's very weird at the moment. Maybe we're just not really that fast for 2013. Well, it's obviously, I, I, it's my fastest game, but not really that fast for 2013 for some reason. I don't know what's going on here. To be fair, this was actually recorded in May, so, of course, um, I was probably still thinking about doing the crew mode at the time of doing this um, qualifying session and race. And then here we go, coming out for our final run after coming into the garage once again to change to a third set of fresh option tyres. Um, so let's hope this lap can go well. This will be our final run, because two minutes left to go in the session now. And here we go, I'm gonna, this is the um, going to be the, f this is the fastest lap of the session. So I'm going to commentate over this whole lap for you. So into the final corner now with into second gear. Now onto the straight with DRS using all the curves available. We haven't used curves for a while, have we? DRS wide open onto the pit straight with 34 seconds to go. Can we get um, a good time in? Coming down into turn one, breaking down to first gear, hitting the apex. No, not quite. Coming to turn two, hitting that curve quite nicely. And coming into the kinker turn three. And now coming onto the mini straight, coming down to turn four. We've got two cars ahead there, so hopefully they don't block us. Coming to turn four now, going to first gear. We uh, didn't quite hit the apex there. We're now coming out of that corner. 
coming down into the technical section into turn five. We take a wide line through there and didn't quite hit the apex. Now flat out through turn seven with the timers run out in the session. Now into turn eight. We have gone very wide there into turn eight. Now the session timer has run out. Now coming into the tricky double left hander at turn ten. Here we go, turn nine and ten. Clipping the apex nicely into first gear. Here we go. Um, going on to the exit curb just a little bit there. And now coming on to the, the second DRS zone. Coming down into turn 11. <coughs> a very, very tricky braking zone as well. Hitting the apex nicely. Coming into the flat out turn 12. Fifth gear into sixth gear. Coming into turn 13. Breaking down into second gear again. Hitting the apex quite nicely. This is a huge improvement here. Half a second improvement so far in this, in this qualifying lap. Coming into the final corner with 7th gear now coming into the final corner breaking down to 1st gear not quite hitting the apex again but now onto the pit straight where are we going to be for this Bahrain Grand Prix here we go coming onto the DRS straight crossing the line and it's a 132.871 and we qualify in 5th place ahead of Fernando Alonso we have qualified ahead of Fernando Alonso that's crucial that's, that's a good qualifying session from us there we qualified in 5th place for the Bahrain Grand Prix, Sebastian Vettel gets provision uh, gets pole position from Nico Rosberg, then Mark Webber, Lewis Hamilton, me in fifth, Fernando Alonso in sixth, and it's Roman Grosjean and Kimi Räikkönen, and Nico Hülkenberg and Jensen Button completing the top ten for McLaren. And now here we are in the garage celebrating our fifth place, <coughs> which was our objective. Our objective was to finish sixth, or qualify sixth or above, and we qualified fifth. So. A good performance in qualifying, but still, it still doesn't equal. It's still not great in terms of expectations for realistically in um, uh, qualifying for Ferrari. So here we are for the race for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Hopefully, this is going to be a good race here in the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's usually a good race here. In Karim modes in the past, I've had a good race here in Bahrain. 2013 Karim mode in season two, for example, was a good race where I won that race last season. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I did win this race last season for Ferrari. And as you can see, Fernando Alonso is three points ahead of us in the championship after the Chinese Grand Prix, of which that was a good race as well. Going up from 11th to 3rd in the race. He has out-qualified us twice and got two podium. We got two podiums each, and we've out-qualified each other twice. And our pit stop strategy for the 29-lap race and 50% race. Lap 8 is the first pit stop, I believe, and lap 17 was the second stop. <coughs> this will be the last 50% race of this career mode because I feel like it's going to be a waste of time. And yeah. So from Spain onwards, it'll be 25%. So let's go to the race for the Bahrain Grand Prix. So here we are for the lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix and it's now away we go for the fourth race of the season and the return of F1 2013 career mode. It's been a not a good start from us. It's actually been a good start from us there. But Fernando also gets an even better start. Trying to challenge us into turn one. He doesn't quite get us there but uh, we're going to go round the outside of him into turn one and into turn two on the inside. We get past Mark Webber as well on, on the outside into turn three and we get up into third place. We've gained three positions off the start here in this Bahrain Grand Prix. A great start to the race. We have moved up immediately into third place. Nico Rosberg leads this race. He's taken the lead away from Sebastian Vettel from pole position. And now, coming into this turn five, we're behind Sebastian Vettel coming down into turn eight. Are we going to try and go for a move on him? Probably not. But Nico Rosberg, a good start from him there to get into the lead of this Bahrain Grand Prix and taking the lead away from Nico Rosberg. So, that was a decent start. Um, we are already up into the podium places we've actually hit Vettel there on the rear which is uh, not ideal and um, we actually we actually are getting a bit of time on him here but now coming into turn 11 we're going to go to the inside maybe on Sebastian Vettel we've got a bit wide there and Fernando Alonso has oh no he's made contact with us and Alonso has uh, gone onto the gravel just a little bit there onto the sand and uh, he's uh, spun round so not good there but now Mark Webber has passed us and we get him back on the inside into third place so an interesting first lap here in Bahrain. Fernando Alonso had a little incident there with us, but now onto lap two, Mark Webber's challenging us on the outside, coming down into 
down towards on the main straight and he didn't quite get us there so uh, Mark Webber on the charge at the moment here in Bahrain. Sebastian Vettel and Nico Rosberg are pulling away from the field. Rosberg has got a huge gap out in front. Mercedes OP in this race. So here is the replay of the Bahrain Grand Prix start. Um, you can see Sebastian Vettel on pole position. I don't think he got the greatest of getaways there. So Nico Rosberg got a much better getaway than him. Let's see. Yes, Vettel did not get a good start. And Rosberg immediately took the lead into Turn 1. Very good start from Rosberg. And now here we are coming to the outside of Fernando Alonso. Yep, Rosberg very much took the lead into turn one. But now here we go going on the outside of Mark Webber. And we got third place there. That was really, really nice to get third place there on the outside of uh, Mark Webber. And now, yep, we were behind Sebastian Vettel at this point. And <clears throat> yeah, so it's been a decent start to this desert race uh, in, the, in the day, of course. It's not... I'm not used to it in the day because of my 2016 career being at the night. So, yep. Coming on to lap three now of this Bahrain Grand Prix. We are still behind Sebastian. Oh, we're oversteering around the final corner there. But now onto the pit straight, starting lap four of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are one and a half seconds behind Sebastian Vettel. We're actually catching a little bit there from, a, from when he was pulling away from us. So, we're actually catching Sebastian Vettel at the moment. Coming to turn one, we've actually gone way wide there. And, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. I want to catch Sebastian Vettel for at least, um, catching him for the lead, uh, maybe, if, uh, Rosberg pits early or something, but, uh, now coming into turn four, yeah, we're not really catching, um, Sebastian Vettel at the moment, so here we go, actually we've got DRS available for some reason, we've got DRS available 1.1 seconds behind him, very interesting. And now we're getting much closer to Sebastian Vettel to head down into turn one. Are we going to go for the move? No, we're not. No space whatsoever. No space at all. It was not going to work, but um, we didn't go for it. But we got very close to his rear wing there. And Hamilton and Raikkonen there trading some fastest laps. Each got a 135. And now coming into turn eight on lap five of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are still behind Sebastian Vettel. And there is... Is that Nico Rosberg off the track there? No, that can't be. Rosberg is actually off the track. No, unbelievable! Rosberg's actually lost the lead there! Rosberg's actually gone off the track and lost the lead, and now this battle with Vettel has become a lead battle. So, Rosberg has made a huge mistake there, and I think he's actually retired. Has he retired? There's 21 cars in the race now. So, Rosberg actually could have made a mistake. There could have been a mechanical failure. That was very uh, weird from the AI there, as now Lewis Hamilton challenges now to the outside, we're side by side coming into this turn 11, he goes around the outside into turn 11, and he gets into third place on the podium, that is our podium, it's actually second place he gets there, so we stay in third, sorry about that, um, but Hamilton with a great move there around the outside, so the AI are of course very good in this game as well, but now uh, heading now into the pit lane for our first stop in this Bahrain Grand Prix. Uh, probably changing onto a set of prime tyres, but Nico Rosberg, that um, was really weird there. Uh, he just went off for turn eight and retired. I think. I think he actually retired from the race. Um, weird, because the AI you know, don't usually get mechanical failures, but Hamilton did in China. To be fair, that was a decent pit stop from um, our Ferrari crew, and we come out out of the pit lane uh, behind the Force India. So. Very interesting there, we come out ahead of the Sauber of Hulkenberg. I believe the, yeah, the Force India is Adrian Sutil. Nico Hulkenberg is the Sauber, and he's now going to try and challenge us now, coming down into turn four. He goes on the inside, is Hulkenberg going to get us? No, he isn't. He uh, doesn't quite get the move there. He um, He's probably a bit too far back to make the move. And on lap seven now of this Sparring Grand Prix, we are in tenth place after the pit stops. Here we are, challenging Adrian Sutil in the Force India. It sits on our um, monitor there. We've actually got gearbox damage. I'm not sure that's gearbox or diffuser or something, but I'm not sure what that uh, what that part is that's brown at the moment. I don't know what it is, but um, here we go. Coming onto the pit straight. We are slipstreaming Adrian Suter. We should be able to get past him here with DRS. We're going to absolutely shoot past him with DRS. I mean, that's an easy move on Adrian Suter. And now Hulkenberg challenges Suter as well, coming down into turn one. And he gets the move as well, so... Hulkenberg using his DRS to effect there, and the Force India gets lost 
that's it. The Force India loses two positions on the straight, so not a good day, and not a good um, not a good engine there from Force India, surely. Even though it's a Mercedes engine, it's um very slow on the straight. The Force India, I've noticed in the career modes in the past, apart from the time when I used it when I was actually decent in the straight line, but it, from the AI, they're very slow in a straight line for some reason. Now coming on to the pit straight now, coming on to lap 10 of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And we, uh, there are people in the pit lane now, and um, we have moved up into fourth place uh, ahead of Mark Webber. And behind Sebastian Vettel, who's just been passed by Kimi Raikkonen, by the way, onto the pit straight there. So Raikkonen gets up into second place. Raikkonen on a charge here. Can he get <coughs> the uh, leader, which I don't know who the leader is, to be fair, but... Um, and now on lap 12 now, on lap 13, in fact. Sorry, lap 13, we are getting much closer to Vettel, who is challenging Lewis Hamilton, who's um, also been overtaken by Raikkonen. So Hamilton got overtaken by Raikkonen and now being overtaken by Sebastian Vettel. So Hamilton has lost two places. So he was, in fact, the leader of this race. So Raikkonen is now leading this Bahrain Grand Prix. Very interesting. You see the Lotus of Kimi Raikkonen is leading this Grand Prix. Very cool to see that. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen there. So um, now into our second pit stop. It was a very uneventful first stint in of our tyres. And we come in for our second pit stop for a set of prime tyres. Um, the hard tyres. It's a 3.163 second pit stop from Ferrari. And Alonso sets a 134.2. Uh, lap 14 now of this Grand Prix here in Bahrain. Uh, we get out behind Jensen Button, but can we get out ahead of Hulkenberg this time? Yes, we can. Uh, we can get out ahead of Hulkenberg once again, actually. Once again. <laughs> um, we, that's the second time in a row we've actually got out ahead of Hulkenberg only just. So That's good for our race, actually, to not be stuck behind Hulkenberg. Um, yeah, so on to lap 16 now of this Bahrain Grand Prix. Moving on to lap 17. Uh, so actually, that this has been two laps later after our pit stop. Our pit stop was on lap 14. This is two laps later after our pit stop. Now the uh, fastest lap there was a 134.7, and now we are slipstreaming. Button with DRS. We're going to go up the inside into turn one, and we get past him into eighth place. We get past Jensen Button in the McLaren, and good move there from us there. Um, Roman Grosjean next up for Lotus, our uh, F1 2016 crew mode teammate. Is not our teammate in this crew mode, but um, let's see if we can um, legitly overtake him here. Now coming onto the pit straight, we are now going to slipstream Roman Grosjean coming now into turn one. We are slipstreaming over DRS. What are we going to do here? We, have, we are gaining massively on Roman Grosjean. We're going to go to the inside. We get past Roman Grosjean, and there is our teammate Fernando Alonso coming out the pit lane. Are we going to get out ahead of him? We're going to go around the outside, and Alonso gets out ahead of us in the pit lane. We were behind, we we're ahead of Fernando Alonso, and now Alonso has got out ahead of us. The overcut for him has worked perfectly. Nice job from Fernando Alonso there to get out ahead of us. And lap 18 of this Grand Prix, more than halfway in, and Fernando Alonso is ahead of us. Let's see if we can pass him onto the DRS straight here. We got very close to him there. I think we actually touched him, to be fair, but uh, we get past him into turn 10 there onto the DRS straight. And now Alonso is actually challenging us again, coming down into turn 11. He doesn't quite get the move, and we move up into 6th place. So, this is actually some good battling. But, albeit, it, there was actually no battling in the first stint of the race. Um, because I was trying to catch Vettel, and then there was just absolutely no overtaking. But now there's a few overtakes happening. Um, on lap 20 now, so two laps later again. So lap 20 of this Bahrain Grand Prix. It's not really been a good race, has it? It's already lap 20 and we're... I don't feel like it's been that long in the race now. And now here is Lot the Lotus of Kimi Raikkonen coming out the pit lane. We're going to go rally us onto turn 1 once again. And we get out ahead of Raikkonen on the inside into turn 2. And Alonso gets through as well. So Ferrari teamwork there. And Fernando Alonso also gets out ahead of Kimi Raikkonen. So Raikkonen, who is actually leading this race, has now dropped behind me and Fernando Alonso. So... A very, in terms of strategy and pit stops, it's a very interesting race, but in terms of action, it's not been a good race so far, in my opinion. So, lap 22 of this Grand Prix, Perez pulls into the pits, and we are now in second place in this Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, Vessel 
is absolutely flying. A 133.8. That is uh, almost a second faster than me on my fastest lap. And now we've got some bad traction there. Alonso is going to try and challenge us coming down to turn four. No, actually, no, he didn't actually. He didn't challenge us into turn four there. Now until lap 22 now of the final 50% race of this crew mode. Um, and Alonso did not quite get us there. We are actually 9.5 seconds behind Sebastian Vettel, so there is no way we're going to get him in time soon. We are now meeting up with a Marussia, a back marker there, so we actually got past him on that straight. And now here we are. Vettel sets another fast lap, a 133.7. And now coming onto the pit straight now, Alonso is using DRS to get put, put, going to the outside. And now going to the outside, and now Hamilton challenges Raikkonen on the inside. We get past Van we actually hold on to Fernando Alonso's position. And now Raikkonen moves to the outside. Get past Fernando Alonso. Raikkonen sneaks through and gets past our teammate. A great move from Raikkonen. It was actually aided by me personally. Because Alonso got forced out wide. And then Raikkonen got snuck through into third place. And there are some battles going on in this Grand Prix. It's a decent pass from Kimi Raikkonen. But that was actually a decent battle with four cars going through onto the straight all together battling away. <coughs> um, we're coming now into turn four. Hamilton is challenging us to the outside. We are side by side into turn four. Are we going to get him? No, it, well, he's not going to get us, but um, Raikkonen is now going for the switch back on Lewis Hamilton. Is he going to get him? No, he isn't. Raikkonen backs out of the move and Hamilton goes on to, um, or stays in um, fourth place, third place. Yeah, third place. Is it third place? I think it's third place. But now here we go into turn 10. Hamilton in the DRS zone is now challenging us on the inside. And he's actually got past us into turn 11. Hamilton has easily got past us there with the Mercedes OP. And he gets past us quite easily. That's such a shame there. We're not probably not going to get Lewis Hamilton ever again in this race. Because our tyres are actually starting to fall off the cliff a bit here. On lap 26 now of this Grand Prix. So four laps to go in this race including this one. And we have Raikkonen behind us. Weber challenging Alonso, who has problems there. Has Alonso got problems there? He's pulling over to the side of the track. And Alonso's um, out of the race, I think. I think Alonso's out. He's actually pulled over to the side of the circuit with, I believe, according to the um, engineer, brake problems. But it's definitely not a brake problem. He is out of this race, so that's crucial for our championship again. Fernando Alonso out of this race. Wow, this race is eventful at the end. It's always a event for the end, isn't it? It's not really, um... Uh, you saw there that Weber and Raikkonen were having a bit of a battle there, so... Very interesting there. On lap 27 of this Bahrain Grand Prix, coming to turn 10, we are still in third place. There are indeed 19 cars in the race, so Alonso did retire in the way. We are sliding all over the place there, and that's the tyre where... That, that's our tyres done. That's our tyres done. We have lost three positions there on the straight to Weber, Raikkonen and Perez. That's such a shame. We have lost our positions there. And our Grosjean sneaks on the inside as well. So our tyres are completely dead at this point. As you can see, they are bright red. <coughs> and we're even understeering in a flat-out corner. So time to come into the pits for our third pit stop. What a shame. What a terrible end to this race. We are changed onto a set of options because I want to try and set a fastest lap on the last lap. Because why not, really? Why not do that? Anyone can do that. That's that's what the people in real life in 2013 did. They changed onto fresh tyres in the last few laps. And they got the fastest lap of the race. So that's what I'm going to try and do there. By going into option tyres. And trying to set the fastest lap on the final lap. So we come out in ninth place. Uh, behind Holkenberg but ahead of Gutierrez. Quite easily ahead of Gutierrez. Way ahead of Gutierrez. 28 seconds in fact. So that was the race pretty much. In this Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, it was a good race overall at the at the end, but that uh, our tyres going uh, didn't uh, really rate didn't really go down well there. So, on to the final corner of the final lap. Sebastian Vettel has won the Bahrain Grand Prix uh, quite easily there. He dominated the race, and now we come across the line. We do improve on our fastest well, on our personal best, and we finish in a disappointing ninth place in this Bahrain Grand Prix. Our worst result of the season so far. So, um, not an ideal race there in Bahrain. And Sebastian Vettel wins by a massive 23.9 seconds from Lewis Hamilton in second. Mark Webber, then Kimi Raikkonen, Sergio Perez, 
Roman Grosjean, Jensen Button, Nico Hulkenberg, me in ninth, Esteban Gutierrez, Adrian Sutil, and Daniel Ricciardo in twelfth. We didn't get the rest of the results because um, I didn't have that for some reason. Fernando Alonso is actually tying now after that retirement he had. He scored no points. He's actually tying in the championship with Sebastian Vettel. Then we are one point behind that in third. Lewis Hamilton one point as well behind in fourth. And then Mark Webber in fifth. So it's a five-way championship battle at this point after the Bahrain Grand Prix. Very, uh, very close there. Nico Hulkenberg. Very strong points in sixth place for Salvo. Roman Grosjean, Sergio Perez, Kimi Raikkonen, Jensen Button, Esteban Gutierrez, Nico Rosberg in 12th at the moment for Mercedes. So, hopefully you enjoyed the return of the F1 2013 career mode. Um, it was quite an eventful Bahrain Grand Prix at the end. It didn't, very, it didn't really end well in terms of the result, but overall, I hope you enjoyed the Bahrain Grand Prix and the return of this career mode. See you guys on my next video, which will be the F1 2016 career mode in Austria. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell button for notifications if you haven't already. And goodbye.